Hello everyone and welcome to a, another collection update. Just wanted to give you a look at some of the changes I've made to my collection. Uh, this is my final video for a couple of weeks, so here we go. As you can see up the top there, we've got the uh, miniatures ATAT, and with three figures from the Ambush on Illum pack. Haven't put the crab droids out yet, couldn't really fit them on that shelf. Uh, Treachery on Salukamai Battle Pack and uh, Stas Ali there. Of course, my Han Solo Replica Blaster, homemade Replica Blaster. Absolutely awesome piece, I could stand there and look at that all day. <laughs> really love it. And of course, the respective figure at the side, since this is uh, the Empire Strikes Back version of his blaster. Moving down, speaking of Empire Strikes Back, this is the Empire Strikes Back tribute shelf. Um, Empire Strikes Back is my favourite of the Star Wars films, so I decided to have a shelf completely uh, dedicated to it. There we've got um, Tauntaun with Luke Skywalker, uh, Hoth Rebel Soldier with the turret, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, Luke and Yoda. There you've got 2-1-B, medical droid. That's the Revenge of the Sith version from the 30th Anniversary Collection. Decided to put him out instead of the Power of the Force version. He just looks a little bit better in my opinion. And we've got a Minoc. A Lights and Sounds R2-D2. Batteries are going in that. <laughs> and we've got Luke and Vader duel in there. Some Hoth Rebels. Smuggler Lando. Star Destroyer. And Treadwell Droid. Moving down here, some more figures from Empire Strikes Back. We've got the Bounty Hunters, minus Boba Fett. Um, I'm put, trying to put out all the like the later versions of these figures rather than the uh, uh, box set that I had out with Boba Fett and Vader and all the other um, Bounty Hunters. Then we've got the vintage OTC Bosk and IG-88 30th Anniversary Collection for Lamb. Um, big thanks to my fellow YouTuber, um, Horde FTL. Um, he happens to live in the same area as me and he popped into one of our local stores just the other day and saw this uh, knowing that I needed that figure. Um, he very kindly hid that at the back of some of the other figures so I was able to go down the next day and pick it up. So big thanks to you for that. Uh, I've got Greedo there. Some more, uh, vintage OTC figures. Not all of them, but some of them. Shadows of the Empire, just there. And you've got the first wave of um, animated Clone Wars figures. And my Return of the Jedi Jabba's Palace tribute shelf. I really love that scene. They've got Umpa Stay with the drum. Can't wait till Ak Rev comes out. The uh, second drummer from Jabba's Palace comes with the other half to the drum. We've got Jabba, Pip Fortuna, the Sarlacc Battle Pack. And a Gamerian Guard. And of course the Endor at -AT. Moving around we have Darth Vader's Sith Starfighter. You may remember I did a review on this but um, it didn't really come out as well as I'd have hoped. So I'm going to redo that at some point. Underneath that is the Star Wars Vault. Then in the cabinet I've moved things around in here quite a little bit. Just move the door out of the way to stop the glare. Okay at the bottom there you see we've got the Sith shelf. I'm a big fan of the Sith, hence my username here on YouTube, Sith Lord. Uh, see at the back there we've got Darth Malak and Darth Revan boxed, as well as opened at the front there. And we've got Sidious, Dooku, Darth Maul, Darth Vader. I haven't put Asajj Ventress out on here, I don't really consider her a Sith Lord. More of a Dark Jedi to be honest. But I will be uh, hopefully getting these Sith uh, Legacy Evolutions pack soon with Nihilus, Bane and Darth Maul and I'll be putting those out on there as well. And we've got Force Unleashed figures. The Clone Trooper and Mandalorian packs. Really cool sets those. The uh, Clone Trooper shelf, as you can see I've added quite a lot of clones to this. Most notably the Utapar Shadow Trooper, the Cover Ops Trooper and the Battlefront 2 clone pack. As well as just in the middle there. I don't know how you can see him, but there is the Combat Engineer, the Kashyyyk Legion, very cool figure. And then we've got the Darth Vader shelf, Koto Bukaya Obi-Wan statue, Ultimate Galactic Hunt Scorch, and Boba Fett Minibust. 
And then everything is just the same up there. I haven't really changed things around up there at all. Um, again, Imperial Shuttle there. And we've got me uh, the ATAP. Managed to pick up another Kashyyyk Trooper the other day, so now I've got two. One to pilot uh, my ATAP and one up for my clone shelf. Just behind the cover Ops Trooper there. Of course, my Imperial shelf. Added a few new things to this as well. Just not my shuttle off as well. Uh, as you can see there, I've put the um, 501st Comic Con exclusive Stormtroopers out. Picked up a few of those from uh, Toys R Us the other day. Got those to open, and I've also got one box down there. And all my concept figures and animated debut, Boba Fett, film cells, Revolution, Sand Trooper, some other figures out there as well. Hoth mini busts, Boba Fett Mighty Mugs, concept figures, the Fett Legacy Pack, absolutely awesome. So my newest favourite figures, these two at the front. That Boba Fett is just absolutely amazing. And comic packs. And then we've got um, a Saga Legends, my box Saga Legends. And as I said, the exclusive 501st uh, Stormtrooper in the box. Be doing a review on that soon as well. And there you've got the uh, snap together pocket models, the po uh, uh, Revel pocket models. I've hung those up with a bit of fishing line. Got a TIE Interceptor, X Wing, and Darth Vader's TIE Advanced X1. 30th anniversary collection poster. Moving down here, speaking of Revel models, we've got the Revel Millennium Falcon, the Hoth. Um, ATST and Hoth turret from the Ultimate Battle Pack. The coin album down the side, and that's just about it, really. It's only the re real place that's seen any of the changes is this side of the room and the uh, shelving unit in my doorway. I'll just show you these bits here. As you can see, I've put the uh, Jedi Starfighter with hyperspace ring out. Uh, took a page out of Rasputin's book and put the um, Clumos gunship out, took one of the wings off on one of the turrets and managed to fit that on the shelf. ATRTs, Lego TIE Fighter, Episode 2 Clones, Revenge of the Sith R2 D2 and Super Battle Droid, and the 30th Anniversary Collection, Panning Droid, and Anakin and Obi Wan. So, up in a little scene there. And my photos, my desk area, and my Action Fleet Mini Heads. And while I'm at it, I forgot who it was, but somebody asked me where I shot my reviews from. This is the tripod my camera sits on. I just put my camera on top of that like that. So now you know where I film my reviews from. <laughs> and as I said, just had a few updates. Just changed a few things around. And uh, I'm just going to focus on that once again. The uh, replica blaster. Absolutely awesome. So I hope you enjoyed my collection update. As I said, this is my last video for a couple of weeks. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until I see you again, um, as always, take care, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.